Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is on area. The last one we did perimeter, which was distance around. This one's on area, you guys. So this one's pretty easy as well. So there's our common core strand. Our essential question is, how can we use a formula to find the area of a rectangle? Okay, so uh, the base, you guys, we call it B. The base of a two-dimensional figure can be any size. So this lesson, we're dealing with rectangles. So this could be the base, but instead it could be any side. So this side could be the base, this side could be the base, this side could be the base. The base doesn't mean the bottom, but uh, in most cases, uh, most people think it is. So, or this could be the base right here. But again, it doesn't have to be. This doesn't have to be the base. This could be the base. Any of these sides could be the base right here. You know, it could be going in a diagonal sort of pattern right there. And any of these sides could be the base as well, you guys. Okay. So the height, you guys, the height that we'll call H is the measure of a perpendicular line segment from the base to the other side. So it's a perpendicular line segment from this base or from this base or from this base. And we're thinking, now oh, what's perpendicular? Okay, remember perpendicular lines and line segments, they form little right angles right here. So these two lines would be perpendicular because they form this right angle. This segment is perpendicular to this segment because of that right angle. And similarly, these right angles make perpendicular segments also. So if we know that these are right angles right here, then those could be um, the heights right there. So as long as we know they're right angles, then, then your base and your height uh, are connected to each other. So this could be the base and this could be the height. Over here, this could be the base and this could be the height because right here, the base can be any side. So the height is a perpendicular segment that joins the base right there, okay? So the area is the number of square units needed to cover a flat surface. So it's the number of square units that are inside a flat surface. And so a square unit is one square that is one unit long by one unit wide, okay? And a unit is like inches or centimeters. This could be one uh, inch right there, and this would be one inch. So this would be one uh, uh, square inch, okay? That's what that would be called. If it was in inches, if it was in, say, you know, it could be miles, one mile, one mile, this would be one square mile, okay? So if we don't know the units, then we just call it one square unit right here, okay? So it makes a nice little square. So to find the area of a figure, then we just count the number of square units inside the figure. Okay, let's try some of that here. So here we have some uh, rectangles here with some little square units inside. So how are the base, the height, and the area of the rectangle related, okay? So let's complete the table to find the area. Okay, so the base here, we'll call this one the base right here. So the base is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the base is eight right there, okay? And the height is how tall? It's up, it's up two squares right there, so the height is two. So how many squares are in this rectangle? Well, here's eight. Here's eight more, eight plus eight, there are 16. So we'll say this is 16 square units. And we always use area as square units. If it's in inches, it would be square inches. If it was in feet, it would be square feet or square meters or centimeters or something, okay? All right, so here the base is, well, again, we'll call this side the base. Uh, so the base is three, the height is three right there. So. There's the base, there's the height right there. And then how many squares are inside of this three by three right here? Well, there's three, six, and then three more is nine. There's nine. So we're going to write nine square units. Area is always in square units, okay? Here the base is one, two, three, four, five, and the height is three right there. So the base is five, the height is three, and there's 15 square units inside of there, okay? So uh, how do we decide which side of a rectangle uh, to use as the base and which side to use as the height? Well, remember, it doesn't matter, you guys. Here's the picture that we had before right there. Well, um, we could have uh, said that this was the base right here on this guy, so then the 2 would have went there, but then the, the 8, the height would have been right here, okay? We're always, uh, uh, we always want to correspond as the bottom piece being the base, but it doesn't have to be. This side could be the base, so this side is 2 right there, so I think I, I redid it right there, so we can say this, that this is the base, this 2 is the base, and this, this uh, 8 is the height right there. Okay, or we can say this three is the base and this three is the height. Well, that doesn't change it right there. Or we can say this base is the the it, this base is three and this height is five right there. So we can switch them and make it three and five instead. Over here we had five and three. 
Okay, so how do we decide which side of a rectangle to use for the base and which side for the height? Well, any side of the rectangle, remember, could be used for the base and the height right there. Okay, so just does whatever you decide. Okay, just make sure that they, they uh, where they form a right angle, that's where the base and height connect up. All right, so what relationship do we see among the base height and the area? Okay, well, let's take a look right here. The base was 8, the height was 2, and we get 16. Can you think of a relationship with 8 and 2 and 16? Okay, I bet you can. How about 3 and 3 and 9? Is it the same relationship as you thought of right here? Yeah, it looks like we're multiplying, you guys. So this 5 times 3 equals 15 right here. 3 times 3 equals 9. 8 times 2 equals uh, 16. So base times height equals area. Okay, when we multiply, it's called the product. So, so if we want to be formal about it, then the product of the base and the height is equal to the area right there. Okay, so let's write a formula for the area of a rectangle. This uh, lesson is talking about formulas, so we'll use the letter A for area, B for base, and H for height. Okay, so the area, this area right here, equals this base times this height right there. So this would be A equals B times H. That's our formula right there. Okay, so that's our magic formula in this chapter, real easy. So we can use a formula to find the area. So remember, A stands for area, B stands for base, and H stands for height. So here's the base, here's the height, and so the area would be this side times this side right here. Now, sometimes they might want you to think of, uh, we can think of the base and the height of a rectangle as the length and the width. Have you ever heard of that? Instead of base and height, the length and the width. And since the length and the width are perpendicular, we can also write the formula for area is uh, area equals length times width. It's the same as area equals base times height right here, okay? Or this is the length and this is the width right here, okay? Whatever, whatever um, you're most comfortable with, base times height or uh, length times width, doesn't matter. So use a formula to find the area of a rectangle and the square right here, okay? So uh, here's the base, here's the height, or you can say this is the base and this is the height. Okay, here's the base, here's the height right here. So remember, area equals base times height. So let's go ahead and plug it in right here. We're going to go 6 times 2 on this one. And, in the other, and for the square, it's going to be 4 times 4. Okay, 6 times 2 is 12, and 4 times 4 is 16. Now let's answer the question, you guys. The question is, what is the area? Okay, don't just write 12, you guys. The area is always in square units. So this is going to be 12 centimeters squared, so tw uh, 12 square centimeters, you can say it like that. So over here, the area is um, 16 square inches right here, okay? If you were in my geometry class, and if you just wrote 16 down, I'd probably take off a point or something on your test or something, okay? So because area is always in square units, so when we get into the next uh, uh, lessons, it's called volume. Those are always in cubic units, but that's something else. Right now, area, if you see area, Area is always in square units, so in this case it's square inches, in this case it's square centimeters, okay? So whatever the units are. All right, so write a formula for the area of a square. Okay, well remember, here's the square that we just did. The area equals base times height, but notice um, uh, the base and height are the same right here. So let's use the letter A for area like we did, you guys. And then um, since uh, these bases and heights are the same, and since we're dealing with a square, Let's use S for the side length of a square, okay? So then the formula is just going to be area equals uh, base times height, or in this case, S times S, okay? Here it was 4 times 4, okay? So whatever the side length is on a square, it's, and we're just going to call it S, so it's going to be S times S. Okay, I hope that makes sense, you guys. And if you can, click like. Take care, you guys.